It's very uncomfortable to talk about race. Um, it's not something. It's not something I do. I am. I am feeling a, uh, apprehensive um, because I think there's a lot of reasons why I feel like I should be able to talk about race. Uh, I don't want to say anything. Uh, you know, that would offend anyone. It's a very touchy subject. It's still difficult, even if you feel like you're on the right side of it, to, you know, to have a dialogue about it. Especially for white people, because we don't want to see if the racism that we may be holding on to. I don't know. Maybe I am racist. I, I certainly don't like to think that I am. And, and I think that's, too, because the perception in this society, perception of a racist is, is a guy in a robe. Now I understand that it's a system of advantages and disadvantages based on race. So as much as there's the disadvantage piece of it, there's the advantage piece of it, which is what I experience as a white person. I want to bring up race, and I want to bring it up in a frame that helps my children think that there's no difference. But the mere fact that I might be bringing it up could suggest that there is a difference. I remember asking a friend of my father's who, who's black, why he was called black because his skin was brown. And I've learned that lots of people that are white ask this question, and maybe they also received the answer that I got from my parents, which was like, oh my gosh, we're so sorry that she asked that, and it's just a term, like, move on. One of my third grade students um, seemed pretty rocked um, after the Eric Garner case, or death, and um, came up to me and said, you know, why, when you were little, like, were you worried about this stuff too? And I knew what he was talking about before. I mean, I didn't say, what do you mean, what stuff? I didn't want to, you know, play dumb. Um, and I said, you know, no, like, I didn't have to be. Um, and that's not fair. And that was really hard because he just kind of sat there. And it, it honestly seemed like the first time that he had considered the fact that not everyone um, had to think about race all the time. I know that I'm white, and I guess I'm part of that collection. Um, uh, but uh, I don't think about being white. I don't. I really did not know that I had a racial identity. I knew I was white. I, did, I, I had no idea what that meant, how that had shaped my outlook on life, how that had shaped my uh, sense of optimism, sense of belonging sense of safety, sense of feeling entitled to go help children that I thought were part of, a part of a community that couldn't figure out how to help themselves. I think that impulse, that kind of colorblindness impulse, comes mostly from white people. Like I've never heard, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it comes from all people of all kinds, but I've heard it most from white people who are saying like, let's do this as a way of getting past this racism thing. And I think in part it comes from from um, a sense of shame and guilt about what racism has done and, and kind of how racism was built by white, by white people. I don't want to be ashamed of being, a, and plus I'm a male. It's like every group out there can be pissed off at me because I'm white and a male. And that's a weird kind of burden that some people do feel, and I certainly feel it sometimes from people that I'm privileged, I get stuff that other people don't get. I think we're all implicated in a racist system, and I play my part in it as a white person. So I do have individual responsibility and accountability. I mean, I'm part of the system, and I do things that both perpetuate it, and I try to certainly do things that challenge it. I realize I've never said anything. When I've, when I've heard racist jokes, when I've heard racist comments, I've never said anything. I've never spoken up and said, hey, <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> not once. In my mind, there's, there's no, I'm not involved in any conflict that involves race. I've only been the beneficiary of it. So um, to talk about it is, is I don't think I, I would sound very wise. Being white means that I have the privilege to think that I'm not affected by racism. Uh, 
or that I don't even have a race because I have all these other things like a gender and a sexual orientation and those are pretty neat so I don't have a race but but I do and I'm white. Thank you.